What's up, Tinders? Welcome back to another episode of Kiwi Mice Custom Maps. Do you remember this series? Do you remember this map? This is the this is the only level map. And I'm not sure how many of you guys remember this place, but this is a custom map I was developing a while ago. And I kind of ran out of time to work on it after the school holidays. But now it's the school holidays again, and I've read cut down on a lot of the series I have I really want to start working on this again especially since 1.8 has just been released so I don't know a lot of a lot of the bugs were fixed I mean last thing I remember was there were some visual glitches and that was pretty much it oh yeah some redstone glitches as well when anyone remember how the repeaters were so for example, that repeater would be one tick, and then that repeater would be two ticks, that would be three ticks, and that would be four ticks. Oh man, and that's been fixed. Uh, but yeah, we're back on the Kiwi Mace custom map, uh, and I do want to finish the second single player map. Uh, just really quickly, I want to finish that up so we can work on a new custom map, which I've been thinking of, is for multiplayer. I do want to finish this off, uh, get all of the ideas sorted, and then I also want to figure out and finish off uh, the first single player map because there is one thing I did forget to finish for this map and if we fly down here you'll be able to see so this is the transition area and you get teleported oh let's pick that up you get teleported into this barrier area and you remain floating while well, you get teleported here and you steer at this blue screen over here come on go away so it goes like that, and it goes uh, stage complete. But is this the only? Uh, but is this the only? Ah, uh, no. Is this the end? I think that was it. But I don't want to tidy this up because it does look rather ugly. So I'm going to be working on this as well. Uh, but that's the plan for this episode. I'm going to get to work, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Right, just to make uh, the transition stage a little bit easier, I just made it one color. We don't really need a giant room for everything, do we? We didn't really need a giant room for the transition, and it's all well lit, it looks really nice. So, I'll show you an example. Basically, this is the classic single player map, and that transition stage... Oh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Basically, the transition stage uh, happens after every level, so if we go through here, we can teleport it into a blue room. We're slightly off the floor, I'll show you again. Oh, here we go. I don't know, I really like it. I think it looks really good. Well, it's one off the floor, so... Um... I don't know, I just like to one off the floor because... You, like, the floor's not directly below you, but when you look forward by the... Uh, sorry. When you look forward, you at least have a little bit of room to look down. Like that, see? I really like that part. Oh, dang. Okay, let's leave. Do Should end soon. There we go. Alright. That's just something I really need to do really quickly because that was really irritating me. That means that the single player is basically done. I think the other thing I really need to do is fix up whatever bugs going on here. There's a bug going on. Um, let's see if I can show it. Uh, where is it? Oh, here? So the thing before doing part right here is uh, thing before doing level 1 stage 3. That thing before doing is supposed to be underneath that stage 3 message. Uh, that was whenever I progressed from one stage to the next stage. I think that's a bug to do with budding. I'm not quite sure, but I'll do this really quickly on camera. Uh, I think the problem is these uh, command blocks are right next to each other and then kind of budding each other. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but hopefully if we do this... So if we set our scoreboard to... Oh, See it, Torbre, single player, A1, what is it? I think it's 101. So if we get a redstone block, hopefully this should work. Oh, what is this? Alright, so I quickly went into MC Editor and I shifted all of the command blocks over because it would have taken so much more time if I did it manually. Uh, that's 103. Oh, just testing all of them. 104. Okay, what's going on here? 104. 104. Why is 104 off? What's up with 104? Oh, I guess it's because it's chunk related. If I do it again. 
Okay, what if I switch them over? Bang, bang, bang. This does not make any sense apart from chunk behavior. Okay. Right, all sorted. There we go. All fixed. Those level names are fixed. I'm going to have to go fix the other level names over there sometime. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing it right now because we kind of need to finish up the single player map. I want to get it done so we can move on to the next uh, map idea, which I'll probably reveal next episode. It's a really, really good idea. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. Right, let's get over there. Uh, bone, I think. There we go. Ha-ha! Let's go. Ha-ha. To the... I don't know which level has been done. That's the upside down. That's the treasure. This one is... Water or jumping? I can't remember. We should set ourselves to this map anyway. Map A1... Two. Right, so we should be in this map, and what are we? Scoreboard, players, list, Torbray. Let's see, we are single player, map A2, 215. 215? I guess that means we've only got four stages to go. So it'd be this one? No, it'd be this one we have to work on. This one I should be faster than a speeding bullet. Except I'm not. I'm not really that fast. Also, we probably shouldn't have the... We should probably shouldn't have the door over here. So let's quickly fix that up. We need some cracked brick as well. This is how we do it. Oh man, I've been thinking about doing another live stream for this map. I did one a while ago. And that was to cover Luke while he wasn't streaming. I might have to do another stream of this. Because I found it, I found it a lot of fun. To stream... Okay, let's get rid of that. Yeah, we're going to have to make this a lot faster as well. Right, where shall we chuck this command block so whoever finishes the stage finishes? Uh, let's chuck it in this door down here. I'm not sure how many of you guys are going to be watching this series. I don't know, it kind of gives me motivation to continue working on this map if I continue recording it. And, I don't know, it's good to record a variety of, variety of anything really. Just to get familiar with the sense of recording a whole heap of games. Or a whole heap of series. Right, that should be it. That should have fixed that. And we also need to fix the speed. So if we go zoom over here. With our super fast blaze rods. And let's increase the speed. Okay, three seconds. That should be a multiplayer of eight maybe. Oh, by the way, welcome to any new viewer. I'll have to explain like what this map is next episode, or explain what this custom map is going to be about, but I don't really want to explain it this episode. This episode is more about getting back into the series, because I've been so long without it. How, how fast is this one? This one's actually fairly fast. Fairly fast speed, yep. Although, no, I think it should be faster. Like, this... The speed should be a hindrance, right? Every custom map level should be a challenge. A challenge that should be overcome. So, that sort of speed should definitely be a challenge. And that's not really a challenge. So, maybe we should give it a speed of 20. I think 20 might be a good one. Zoom! Alright, here we go. So, it's this one, right? This should mean that it should be so hard. To, okay, that's a pretty good speed. Let's jump in. Where can we jump in? Here? Oh no, we broke a torch. No! Torch, there we go. Um, Still not really a hindrance. It's interesting. It's not really a hindrance. No. I think it should be a little bit faster. Alright, I'm going to change it one more time and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, this is the speed I love. There we go. Woo! Yeah! I mean, it's not super fast. It's not as fast as it could be. But it's fast enough so it's very hard to be precise. So... Uh, I don't know, it's a good, it's a good one. I, l I like the speed. It's not too hard. It's not too challenging. Yep, that's a good speed. 
I don't know, if you think it'd be faster, just leave it in the comments. Alright, so... Let's... That's a job success. Oh, blah. not Not a job success, that's a pure success. There we go. We go through here. This little transition stage. I'm gonna have... To, I'm gonna still have to decorate this dungeon. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. Because I dug out this entire cave myself. Uh, we're going to have to dig this one out a little bit and add some little detail f uh, features at some point in stage. And then this part should be done. I was thinking about releasing each of these. Uh, this is the only level stages. Uh, I was thinking about releasing all of them in different little segments. And then calling them different little mini maps. And then eventually I release all of them as one big map. But I release all of them individually as well. So they can gain a bit of hype. What do you guys think about that? I think that would be pretty cool. Like you really say... Well, no, I release a, a multiplayer version and a single player version, and then the multiplayer version constantly gets updated, and the single player version, uh, you kind of had to wait for the updates as well. It'd be kind of cool. What do you guys think? Alright, that should be good, and we sh will be able to move on to the next stage. Right, so the next stage is called Find a Button, and what I've got in plan for this stage is we give the player an app which allows them to break wooden buttons so now I have no idea how to do this so I briefly gave myself an iron axe and let's see if we can figure this out on our own can break uh... oh sorry I just had <laughs> hiccups I just had dinner uh, ID wooden button does that work? does, does that work? is that a wooden button? that's a wooden button so, can can I do that? Okay. Game mode 2. Does that work? Oh man, that doesn't work! No! Hmm. One second, I'm gonna have to Google this up. Can break... Uh, Minecraft. Let's see if we can find this. Huh. Thank you, Dragnos, for this piece of information. Pay special attention. This is what you need. Um, bang, that should be it. There we go. Sweet. So, if we do this, and we... Oh. Okay, I want to go test this really quickly. Dragnos has this awesome video, which I'll probably link in the description, if you want to go check it out. It's awesome. Okay, that doesn't break stone buttons, even though it says button. Oh, that is awesome. I like that a lot. That is awesome. Nice. So we've got an axe which we can give to the player, which allows them to break a button. All we have to do is give it to them when... Uh, sorry, whenever they spawn. So we're going to have to go find to their spawn mechanics. Let's see. Uh, okay, it's this one. I think we have to go to stage 15 at the same time. Let's get ourselves a command block. Does it go into this one? Uh, which... I can't remember. So, when does this one get given? No, that's the reset. Yeah, that's the reset part. Does it get set into here or what? I'm sorry, where is, like, the redstone block appears here. Right, whenever they spawn in, which means we should give, give at P, score, single player A2, equals 2 on 5, uh, score, single player A2, minimum 2 on 5, which is the second single player map, and 15th stage. An iron axe, one zero, with the can destroy. I thought it was can break in the first place, but you also need the square brackets. Wooden button. And that should give anyone with the stage of, well, in that stage, 215. An iron axe with a wooden button. And even if I spawn in, like, halfway through, then I should get it. So if we go game mode 2, we spawn in. Oh, dang it! No! Close the inventory just beforehand. Bugger, that's a pain. 
Huh. Clizzy inventory just uh, for the leave the game map at the same time. Where does it clear? Where does it clear? Clear. Where does it clear? Sorry, where does it clear the inventory? Where is it? Is it over here? Is it over there? I can't see it anywhere. Is it there? Um, there we go. Easy. So you get given the leave the game, you get given the iron axe that allows you to break buttons. All we need to do is place a button around here which constantly resets. Hmm. I want to make this resetable at the same time, so I'm not sure how we could break a button in here. Huh. Hmm. I'm kind of irritated by this level, to be honest. I'm not sure how we could even reset it. Wait, there is a room above here, so if we go this way. I think there's a. If we went into this room. Hmm. What if we, what if whenever a person went into this room, and then they broke the button, what if they went into this room, they broke the button, and then a door appeared? Well, that could be something to look into, so I'm thinking we actually include a wooden button here in every single level so when they come up to here they break the bottom button the door appears and then they have to place a bottom button again no they can't they won't be able to place a bottom button if I break that bottom button a door appears okay let's go off that idea so first of all we need to add a bottom button to each of these little areas Alright, this keeps getting better and better, so we're going to have to go through every single one of these places and add a bottom button in the exact same place. Right, I'll be w one second, and then I think we'll call it an episode, because this has been going a little bit too... I don't know, I've had a little bit of, sore of a sore throat at the beginning of the uh, recording, and I do have another video I want to uh, record and all of that, so... This is going to be the last segment, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, I got the mechanism sorted, so you come in here, you get your axe, and it can break a button. And then what you have to do is you have to go all the way up here, to do, do, get up here, go into this room, you break the button, a door appears, you walk in, and you advance to the next stage. Isn't that genius? I think that's pretty genius, if I say so myself. Well, that's got to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's basically the start... Well, the return of an old series. And hopefully we should be able to finish this map. I keep saying that, but we'll be able to finish this map next episode by the latest. Because we've only got three more stages to complete. After that, we can work on the next multiplayer map. Which I do have a very good idea for. It's a, a maze uh, sort of idea. Except it will be teleporting to certain rooms. But I'll get to that in a second. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been Torbury, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy, have a good day. Cheers for watching guys, catch you next time.